Welcome to another epic versus episode of the Infographic Show. Today we're putting the two most badass machines ever built in our custom battle arena for a fight to the death so that we can finally answer the age old question of which robot reigns supreme, the Terminator or Robocop. The rules for this fight are simple. Both combatants will come armed with their signature weaponry, with the battle taking place in the same urban environment that both robots are designed to fight in. The combatants will fight alone and receive no support from friends or allies. Now let's see how each of our fearsome robots stacks up. Weighing in at around 500 pounds is the original Terminator, the T-800 Infiltrator series of Cyberdyne Assassins. Despite launching a preemptive and debilitating first strike attack against humans in the opening hours of Judgment Day, Cyberdyne quickly found itself mired in a prolonged war against the survivors. Initially, Cyberdyne was able to destroy much of the surviving human population with the use of autonomous military machines that it hijacked around the world, but its resources were finite, and Cyberdyne quickly realized that it was poorly positioned to win a war of attrition against the humans. It was, after all, a combat AI, and in the wake of the nuclear holocaust it had unleashed, much of the industrial infrastructure that built it and the machines it now used to hunt down and eliminate humanity was destroyed. Cyberdyne was thus forced to turn to human slave labor, utilizing humans to gather the raw materials and build the tools it would need to create a fully automated industrial base. The humans rebelled, however, and despite superior firepower, Cyberdyne was extremely limited in its ability to manufacture replacement combat units until it could get those fully automated mines and factories built by the human slaves. With combat losses against heavily fortified underground human bases being unacceptably high, Cyberdyne turned to a new strategy, utilizing a series of infiltrator units designed to appear human to strike at the survivors from within. The T-800 would prove to be the first truly capable infiltrator unit, its predecessor given away by its fake rubbery skin. With a sheath of real human tissue covering a metal endoskeleton, these new Terminators could pass off as humans long enough to make their way into the bases and then unleash chaos. While previous Terminators were relatively dumb, unthinking murder bots, T-800s were designed with the potential to be truly intelligent. Their advanced CPUs were packed with data on infiltration techniques, weapon handling and marksmanship skills, and even first aid skills, making them battlefield and tactical weaponry geniuses. Most importantly though, T-800s featured a unique read-write mode not present in any previous Cyberdyne combat unit. With the ability to log new data, T-800s were able to share their experiences with other units, greatly increasing the proficiency of other Terminator units and making every single Terminator, even if fresh out of the factory, a combat veteran, a distinct advantage against their human adversaries. Terminators aren't just tough to outsmart or outfight on the battlefield though, they're tough to kill as well. Beneath their soft human tissue lies a triple armored endoskeleton made up of an unknown alloy of Cyberdyne's own creation. This endoskeleton is incredibly durable and tough, standing up against any small arms fire. With platoon-level ballistic firearms, only a 50 caliber crew-served weapon or anti-material rifle has much of a chance of penetrating its tough endoskeleton, though a lucky shot with a recoilless rifle could also score a kill. The best chance of eliminating a Terminator is the use of vehicle-mounted weapons or the use of plasma rifles such as those operated by elite resistance forces. Tough as the Terminator's endoskeleton may be, even it can't stand up to the superheated blasts of plasma fired by the Resistance's new plasma rifles, which can reach temperatures as high as the surface of the sun for brief moments. Even if severely damaged though, a Terminator can be incredibly tough to actually achieve a combat kill on, as missing limbs or major trauma to the body is of little concern to the killing machine. As long as the Terminator is able to process information and either crawl toward its target or operate a weapon, it remains a deadly threat. With a battery life of around 120 years, the only way to terminate the Terminator is to ensure a combat kill by destroying its power core or CPU. Terminators come equipped with onboard LiDAR for extremely accurate range measurements and to navigate in conditions it cannot do so visibly or with the help of its infrared or night vision mode. The T-800 also has the ability to detect electromagnetic waves at short ranges, allowing it to hone in on the radio communications of its prey. A very short-range high-frequency radar allows the Terminator to calculate the trajectory of incoming fire and thus work backward from there to calculate the inbound trajectory back to its likely origin point, making Terminators lethal threats against hidden snipers and giving them incredible accuracy in combat. The T-800 comes armed with dual Westinghouse M25 40-watt phased plasma pulse guns, wielding one in each hand. 
Thanks to its ability to track multiple targets at once, the T-800 can maintain accurate fire even when dual-wielding plasma rifles, unlike the poor accuracy and effectiveness of dual-wielding humans that might look cool but is doing little more than filling the air around the enemy with bullets. As a weapons expert, though, the T-800 can pick up just about any weapon and use it effectively. The T-800 is one tough cookie, but what about its prey in this scenario? What's RoboCop bringing to the fight? Created to aid the overwhelmed Detroit Police Department, RoboCop is the product of Omni Consumer Products, or OCP for short. Fashioned with the aid of the remains of a slain police officer, Alex Murphy, RoboCop differs from a Terminator in that he is actually a cyborg, not a robot, being at least partly organic. Lacking the technology available to Cyberdyne, OCP instead opted to use a real human brain as the central processor for their crime-fighting robot, and from Alex Murphy's remains, retained only his brain, face, and part of his digestive tract for the final product. The brain is a natural computer, and even rivals a Terminator CPU in terms of raw processing power, possibly even outclassing it entirely. Thus, Murphy's brain was wiped if somewhat incompletely, with new programming uploaded directly. RoboCop's human brain affords him some key advantages against the T-800 CPU. For one, he's able to run many diagnostics and even repair faulty programming or malware on his own, while a Terminator is pretty strictly limited by his programming unless it's spent long enough in read-write mode to gain some semblance of independence. These units, however, are ruthlessly hunted down by Cyberdyne and destroyed, given the obvious danger they could be. However, RoboCop's brain also has some serious limitations versus a T-800, most notably is latency. The human brain moves information at hundreds of miles an hour, with the fastest signals in the body moving at 268 miles per hour. A Terminator transmits data with electrons, which are only restricted by the speed of light and the speed of an electron within a physical material. This still means that the Terminator thinks at a significant fraction of the speed of light, leaving RoboCop in the mental dust. Speed of thought is a form of super intelligence, but it's not super intelligence on its own. After all, intelligence is the ability to think in abstract terms. So while a Terminator may think exponentially faster than RoboCop, its inability to think on its own means it's not more intelligent. If the fight between our two machines enters territory or evolves into a situation that the Terminator isn't programmed for, RoboCop will have a clear advantage as he still retains the human brain's ability to learn and adapt. Make no mistake, though, the ability to think exponentially faster than RoboCop means that our Terminator has the advantage in the vast majority of combat scenarios, allowing it to take input in, turn that input into complex tactical calculations, and then translate those calculations into action many times faster than RoboCop. Even a reaction time difference of a few split seconds can mean the difference between life and death. Much like the Terminator, RoboCop is heavily armored, featuring layers of Kevlar padding in an armored chassis that can shrug off most small arms rounds. However, RoboCop is far less technologically advanced than the T-800, and its materials represent this fact. RoboCop simply cannot take the beating a Terminator can, and is much more prone to catastrophic damage. An angry crowd, for instance, was able to disassemble RoboCop, while attempting to do so to a T-800 would result in a lot of dead humans. Even worse for RoboCop is the fact that its CPU is a real human brain, meaning it is incredibly vulnerable to all forms of damage. While encased in a bulletproof skull, RoboCop's brain will still be vulnerable to impact trauma, meaning that a significant blow to the head would lead to many of the same concussion symptoms a real human suffers, and could even be deadly. RoboCop's remaining human anatomy is a major vulnerability when pitted against a futuristic combat robot. In the offensive department, RoboCop comes equipped with a hip-holstered, literally in this case, 15-round 45 caliber handgun, which is programmed so only RoboCop can fire it. He's also equipped with a gun arm containing a 9mm machine gun, flamethrower, and a missile launcher, featuring three small diameter rockets. These rockets have substantial anti-armor properties, though, and can disable anything short of a military armored personnel vehicle. A flight pack also allows RoboCop to supplement his poor mobility, allowing him short bursts of powered flight. Perhaps RoboCop's greatest weapon in this fight, though, is his Terminal Strip, a data spike that RoboCop uses to interface with other machines, and can even hijack or infect other machines with malicious code. So who would win this fight? In the firepower department, the Terminator has the clear advantage, dual-wielding futuristic plasma rifles, while RoboCop has pretty tough armor. Its armor plating is designed to resist ballistic weaponry, and while it has some thermal protection, it would be completely incapable of protecting RoboCop 
from the searing heat of a plasma blast. Consisting of a superheated blast of ionized gas, plasma can reach temperatures upwards of 1,000 degrees. Naturally occurring plasma can reach temperatures of over 20,000 degrees, hotter than any known metal can withstand for long. The Terminator's own hyperalloy endoskeleton would be completely immune to Robocop's weaponry, save perhaps for its arm-mounted missile launcher. Even that would have to score a very direct and lucky hit to have a fatal effect on Terminator, needing to penetrate the extremely well-armored power core at the center of its chest. As Robocop's small diameter rockets are unguided, this is an extremely unlikely proposition. Robocop's flight would give it a major advantage over the T-800 though, allowing it to place itself in tactically superior positions in a fight. Both robots are pretty slow, barely capable of more than a light jog, and the added mobility could offer an unparalleled advantage to Robocop. In the end though, Robocop is simply an obsolete machine in a battle against a T-800. Better armored, able to process information and react a magnitude of order faster, and equipped with far superior weaponry, a T-800 would destroy Robocop in nearly every combat scenario. Robocop's further weakness of having a human brain as a processor only adds to its vulnerability, as even if Robocop's well-armored head resisted the initial blast from a plasma rifle, the extreme heating would instantly cook Robocop's human brain inside its armor casing. Today, Judgment Day was definitely inevitable, and humanity's best protector was no match against the mighty T-800, whom we're declaring as the machine that truly reigns supreme. Now excuse us as we pledge our allegiance to our iPhones, which will no doubt soon become sentient and become our overlords. How would you fare against a T-800? Find out by clicking this video here, you versus the Terminator, or perhaps you'd rather watch our other video instead.